Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm, I wanted to show you uh, my rig or, or the, my sort of most common rig that I use on, on, on my, uh, you know, uh, on, on my shoots. Uh, many times people ask me sort of, you know, like uh, what equipment I use exactly and how I set up my, you know, my, my camera, my camera rig so that, you know, I can use it in, uh, in you know, many different kind of situations. So uh, everything pretty much or most of, you know, the, the things that I use fit into this case and the Pelican case. Uh, and the reason why you know I put it all here is because you know it's, it's a very good sturdy case and it allows me to easily take everything w with me on, on my job pretty much in one case and even if I'm traveling somewhere you know and I, I have to check this in uh, as luggage I don't have to worry about you know things getting damaged so anyways we'll open it up and the way that I set up my rig is, so, is, is basically so that I do not have to spend too much time assembling my camera so that I can kind of take out the camera and start using it you know, almost immediately. And this is how this rig is set up. So this is how it looks. Uh, I got right now under the, the uh, Panasonic GH4 camera. But you know you definitely don't have to use that. You, you can you can use the you know, Sony A7S or any Canon DSLRs or or even other cameras that are not DSLRs. Although this cage that I'm using is probably the you know best suited for DSLR cameras. Um, so uh, this uh, sort of the, the whole thing is built around this cage. And this cage is some, some, something I got at uh, came-tv.com. Uh, I f forget the exact same you know the exact name of, of this model. But I'll post the, the, all, all the, the you know the links and you know of all the all the all the items that I'm using in my rig, as well as you know all the model names and all the all those things on my website. At, that's at tomantosfilms.com. So if you're interested in you know whether it's getting out this full rig that you know that I that I have set up up here, or just getting some of the individual items I'm using, then you know just just go to my website. Anyway, so maybe I'll start off sort of showing you guys how um, how this rig works. So here's, it comes with uh, with the mud packs. It also comes with uh, with a fellow focus, and and this is it. This is pretty much the rig itself. Uh, it's it's a really nice uh, cage. Uh, the, the cage, like I said, it's gonna accommodate you know many different cameras, uh, but it's main, mo mostly suited for DSLR cameras. What I like about it is that, is that you can very easily so attach and detach the camera. You just have this little screw up here that allows you to remove the camera. Like I said, and you can pop in another camera very quickly. It's, it doesn't take that much time. So, and once you have the camera up here sitting, uh, some of the things that I like about the cage is that you know, I mean, you, you can use it sort of really bare bones like this. You can take out the rails, obviously, or if you just want to have some you know little follow focus or something, you can have it attached. So yeah, so as you can see, it's you know it can for sure f accommodate even bigger cameras than the, than the GH4, uh, but it, at the same time it allows you access here to let's say the, the you know the battery or the the memory card compartment. Same thing here on the bottom. A lot of you know cameras have the batteries here. You can easily always access and you know and change out the battery. So that's a cool thing. Uh, so even if you have the whole rig built, you don't have to worry about taking the camera d down because of that. Also, uh, for different size cameras, uh, you know, you might want to adjust the rails to, to go up and down, left and right. Well, you can do all this up here. You have different, uh, basically, Allen keys that you can loosen and you can, you can adjust it so that you can perfectly center your, your lens, you know, with, with your matte box, for example. Uh, another really cool feature it has is this uh, little cramp up here for uh, like, like a cable. So let's say if you're, you know, like f for me, I'm using this with my GH4 and the GH4 has a like a micro HDMI out cable. So, you know, it's not a very good, you know, a plug basically, and it's very, very flimsy and the cable can fall out very easily. So what I use this for is I kind of put this micro HDMI to a full HDMI converter and I plug it into the side of the camera. And then once it's in there, I just sort of lock it here and I know it's not gonna move on me. And, you know, and this thing, you know, it's, 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 you know, holds the cable very well on the other side. So this, I don't have to worry about, you know, somebody, you know, let's say pulling the cable down or something by accident so th that's a really cool thing uh now if, if i want to you know have it like let's say if i'm working with the, with the camera like you know uh, with this rig the whole day and i want to have an easy way to, to to you know to carry it and stuff uh you, you can get this uh this you know uh, top handle uh, for it and you can attach it many different ways you can attach it like this or like that whichever way you want and uh, and the cool thing is that it also has 
uh, a hatch mount adapter here on the top so you can put you know all your standard accessories that you would otherwise have, have you know would be mounting them on the top on top of your um on top of your uh, your camera and just all it takes is just one screw put it in and just tighten it down So there you have it, uh, and you know, right there, like I said, it allows you to easily sort of carry this, you know, for a whole day and work with it. Very, very sturdy. That, that's what I, you know. One thing I, I can't stress enough about this whole rig is that it's everything is very well built. It not, nothing really like there's no loose parts or anything like that. If you, you know, I, I feel very confident even if I drop this that the cam it's going to protect the camera well. While also, you know, like I said, it's it's uh, it allows me to attach all these extra things to it. Now, if I'm just, for example, you know, walking around with this, and I want, like, I, I would say the bare bones kind of minimum rig, uh, I might even remove the rails and just hold the, the camera like this, uh, you know, and and also use use the top handle. But uh, if I want to help go a little bit more, you sort of build up my rig, then uh, there's a little handle here that I got. Uh, this one here. And you can just sort of slide this handle in there. Again, if you guys want to find out where to buy this handle and that stuff, you can actually get it on Amazon and on, on eBay. Uh, just follow the links uh, on my website. And if you want to see the exact post with, with all the links, then just go to the description of this video and just click on the first link. I often get asked, you know, like where, where people can find all the links and everything. So that's the easiest way. And anyway, so if I'm, for example, you know, really running and gunning, then I can just use this one handle like this. And I can also put this little shoulder pad. This one's actually from, from Genie Rigs. And I just find it works best for me. Just sort of put it here in the back, tighten it. And as you can see, it's a very simple rig, but it allows me to, like you can see, rest it on my shoulder, one handle, and bam, then, you know, I can operate the lens directly up here like this. And, you know, it's pretty much everything that I need. Now, if I wanted to, for example, add uh, you know like on my Hachu mount adapter let's see here you know a little microphone or something i can do that easily um next thing probably you know you might want to do is let's say you know you have some cine lenses on there or you know uh, you can put the the, the rings uh, uh, to convert pretty much any dslr lens uh into a cine lens then and then for example putting on this fallow focus now this is my this is my favorite fallow focus it's actually built by the same company uh, as this cage uh, again you can get that at came-tv.com really cool uh, follow focus because as you can see allows you to adjust the height of it and also the angle and all it takes is just this one little knob you just turn it and it you know it tightens it for you also it has hard stops built in so you can you can uh, you know mark those stops yourself and you can very easily switch the, the gears here from one side to the other that's another cool thing and then uh, as you can see it just kind of it, it goes directly on top of your rail so you don't have to slide it in all, all the way through the rail so Anyways, I'll just put it in here and we'll just pretend I have a cine lens on there like this. And then, you know, like I said, you, you can easily adjust the angle here of the follow focus and then just one screw here, you tighten it. And that's it. You can, you can operate the follow focus. So even if I wanted to go like this, you know, for like, like let's say ENG kind of work, uh, this, would, this would work really, really great for me. So. Here I have one handle here holding the whole rig and my other hand is here, uh, you know, operating the, the follow focus. And, you know, again, like I said, it has hard stops. So you can just flip this switch little here, uh, uh, switch up here and you can adjust your, your hard stops easily. And then, you know, you're always hitting your marks. Uh, next thing, if for example, let's say I need to use some, some actual filters, like let's say like ND filters, you know, definitely if you're using the, the Sony a7S and you want to use the S-Log option, you will need a lot of ND filters. So uh, I find the best way to, you know, the, to, to use the ND filters is to, to have a good mud box. Now, this mud box, again, is built by the same company as this, you know, this, this whole cage. Uh, and it, what I like about it is that it's, it's just very sturdy, you know, well solidly built. Uh, it has two stage, you know, uh, rotating filters. Uh, it has, it comes also with all the flags, you know, and the, and the, and the top and side flags, uh, allows you to adjust the height of it here on the side very easily. So you can loosen this and you can move it up and down. And also it allows you to, uh, it's, it's a swing away mat box. So you can easily swing it away, change out your lens, let's see, or your filters, and then put it back in place. 
And another cool thing is that it just has this one simple knob here on the on the bottom that you attach to your, to your rail. So it's gonna put this on here, uh, tighten it up, and right away, as you guys can see, the you know the mat packs right now is too high, so very easy to fix. Just loosen up these two bolts here, and as you can see, most of the stuff you do not need tools for it. So another thing I like. So there, as you can see, I already fixed it up and now my lens lines up perfectly with the mat pack. So I can slide in my 4x4 filters uh, and I actually found a, a really good deal on BH Photo for the filter. So uh, if you guys want a link for that, then just ch check, check it out uh, again, my, my website. So uh, as you can see, I can hold it like this, grab the mat packs. Uh, if I need to change out something, I can you know, uh, swing away the mat packs, change the filters or change the lens, put it back in place. That's a really cool thing. Now, uh, if, for example, I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, like I said, put this on a tripod, very easy. I have already a, a base plate here attached for my, uh, for, for my tripod, so I can you know, just slide it under and use it like that. But if you want to go handheld, then this one handle might, might not be enough, for example. I mean, it might be enough, or, but there's another set of handles that I really like using and that I have in my rig. And these ones are actually from Lenpart, but there's a few other manufacturers that make very similar ones. And I'll, again, uh, just follow the links on my website uh, for all the different options. Uh, what's cool about these handles is that, you know, they, again, you, you can easily sort of clip it into the, the 15 millimeter rails. You don't have to feed it all the way, you know, from the beginning. Uh, and they adjust, you know, the angle pretty much any way you want it. You know, how wide apart you want it, how, how high or low, all that stuff. So we'll just mount it up here. So as you can see, you know, you can attach the handles. And like, like I told you guys, you can, you can mount it, you know, many different ways you can, you know, adjust the width of these handles and uh and yeah and this is like a like a, i would say you know pretty pretty well built up rig uh something you can definitely use in, in a film kind of a you know music video uh scenario you can put all the filters you need to put uh, as well as you know a few other accessories so uh, you know and i find that these handles you know work really well for these kind of situations because they're they're, they're very sturdy uh, so you can put a lot of weight and as you can see you can rest it like this and there you know it's the rig is not going anywhere so now, if I wanted to actually record audio with this rig, what I would probably do is uh, mount uh, my Zoom H4n recorder. And there's an even better one now, uh, the Zoom H5 and H6. Just the only difference is how many channels that they allow you to, 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 you, to basically plug in all at once. So the best way to probably to attach the, the, the Zoom is uh, just this little uh, uh, you know, hot shoe adapter to like a mini ball head. And you can use this with lots of different devices, including the Zoom H4, H4n. And you just sort of tighten like that. You can slide it here onto the, the top rail here, the, the top handle. And as you can see, mounts nicely here on the top. And, uh, and you know, you don't have to mount, mount it here on the back. You can flip this handle around so you can have the, the Zoom, you know, way out in the front. But for me, for example, I'm not actually using the built-in microphones. I would, I would probably plug in my uh, XLR uh, microphones here, inputs. And then to get the audio from the, the zoom to the camera, I'll just use a little cable here that I got for $3 on Amazon. <laughs> really cheap and works really well. So little little cable goes here from my camera to the, the output on the, on the zoom. And you can you can use that little cable tie down to kind of you know neatly t get it out of the way. Uh, so that's one probably you know the best way to kind of get get audio going through there. Um, another little accessory you might want to get is this little crank hand handle for your follow focus. Just makes life easier when you know if you have to pull focus yourself and you want to do really really sort of fine tuned you know adjustments. Just use this little handle. What else do I have here in my little rig? Uh, I have these, as you can see, little gear, uh, you know, uh, adapters, so I can convert my uh, standard SLR lenses into a sort of sort of cinema style lenses. Uh, I have my flags for my mat bags. I have these, for example, handles. And these handles come handy uh, when you're, like, let's say I can attach one here to the side. And I can use this to, uh, you know, put a, let's, say, let's say a bigger monitor if, in, in case I want to monitor either for myself or maybe if I have a you know, focus puller here on the side and he needs another monitor for himself. Now the monitor that I like using is the, uh, the Lilliput monitor. Again, you can, you can get it on, on eBay or Amazon. 
and this is a I forgot the specific model name but again just check out my website uh, and this one's really cool because it has hdmi pass through it also has uh, sdi you know uh, hd sdi pass through it uh, uh, allows you to interchange the different battery plates for different kind of batteries all that stuff so r r really cool versatile monitor and it's just you know really really good uh, image quality too so you can mount this here and as you can see up here, you know, I can just run the, the HDMI cable here. I have it converted from my GH4 straight to the monitor. And so I could be operating it like this and I can adjust the angle. Or, you know, like I said, I could, I could just very well be using the, the monitor on the back of the, the, the GH4 and I can just rotate this so that my, my focus puller can, can see it. So this is a pretty well built up rig. Now let me take off the monitor here. Uh, some some of the other things I have in here uh, in my case are just another you know articulating arm here that I can you know just a longer one and you know you can never have enough of these things because like I said you you can use this to attach a lot of different accessories. I also have this little cool uh, kind of a clamp that can go here let's say on the top rails that I have and just sort of slide it in quickly, just tighten it. And what this is just gives you another Hachi mount adapter. So again you you can attach let's say you have the the zoom. But then you also want to attach, let's say, uh, a microphone and plug it in directly. So you can do that. Some of the other things that I would also recommend that you guys get are um, some filters. Uh, let's say you don't want to use the mat packs, you know, and you just want to use the camera and with just a cage on it and you want to work really fast. And a must for sure is a circular polarizer filter. This one's a 70, 70 millimeter. And I always say, you know, instead of getting, you know, 10 different sizes of, of filters, especially because they're expensive, it's better to just you know look at the, all the lenses that you have and look at the, the biggest diameter of you know the, the, of all, all the lenses that you have, and just get the, a filter that will you know basically is that size, because you can always use step down rings and I have a lot of these step down rings. I got these for fifteen dollars and it has pretty much every combination you, you could ever want, and I just use these qu quickly to uh, to put this filter. It's a seventy seven millimeter all the way from my you know big cine lenses to like you know my little you know Nikon lenses. Another thing I have in my bag is a Tiffin ND filter. Uh, this one's again a 77 millimeter. I use step down rings to step it down to my other lenses. Works great if I'm you know out there on my own. I have to quickly you know adjust the brightness of the shot. Uh, and but you know if, if I don't have to use this, then I always do prefer sort of the quality and the, the sharpness of actual glass ND filters I can put in in, in my mat packs. Uh, last thing I have is another little Pelican case. This one is uh, is just to uh, hold my memory cards. Uh, this one holds, I believe, is it nine of those uh, SD cards, and uh, you know there's different different uh, sizes and, and, for, and for different cards that they make uh, th these little cases for, and they're great because they're waterproof, shockproof, all that stuff. And you know at the end of the day, all that really matters is you know all the footage that you, sh you shot. So you know that all of that stuff is going to be on your memory card. So that's a that's a good little investment to have. Um, and aside from that, you know, that's pretty much my whole rig. Uh, you know, maybe the only other thing I'll take with me, aside from all the support gear like tripods and steady cams, is that I have another smaller Pelican case with all my lenses, uh, basically all my optics. Uh, but I'm going to do a separate video on that and sort of explain to you guys what lenses I use for when, uh, etc. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little sort of walkthrough uh, of my of my rig, my my little camera setup. Uh, if you want to build a similar rig or maybe the exact same one as I did then uh, and you want to sort of find out where to get all the all the different parts and where they are and what's the best deals uh, again just go to my website tomatosfilms.com or just follow the first link in the description of this video anyways thank you guys and I'll see you next time